Okay, so we are going to move on to the disk tool. And so in the window that we draw it out in, the first part of the disk it draws out as a circular portion. Okay, and then we go into this window and we click and now we can make something that looks kind of like a pop can. Okay, so it's uh, like a cylinder. So, so the thing is, is that you don't have to necessarily use the whole thing. Now watch this. Um, let's go undo. Let's go back to disk. Okay. Now normally we press space bar, you know, after we've made our, our cylinder. Okay. But if we move over here and go disk and I hit space bar, look what it does. All it does is it just makes the, uh, the disk portion. So depending on what you're doing with this, it could be used for something, something else um, completely, completely different. Okay. So don't think that you're just stuck with that. It's uh, just the same thing as the, uh, the box tool. You don't have to make a box. Okay. Undo. You can, you can just draw out a polygon, like a box style polygon, and then that's it. Press the space bar and that's it. Okay. So, like I said, there's, there's different things that you can actually uh, do with this. While we're actually talking about that, let's go to the ball tool and watch what happens. Uh, let's, let's just get Okay, and let's hit the space bar, and look, it the, basically does the same thing as the uh, the uh, disk tool. Okay, and the only difference is is that when you try to when you extrude it out, it creates a sphere. In this case here, um, it it actually draws out straight polygons. So um, there's sort of a those two tools, the ball tool and the uh, disk tool, are kind of uh, uh, variations of each other. Okay, so um, what we're going to do very quickly, let's, uh, whoops, let's uh, hit um, the disk tool again. The Merrick, let's move this over. Okay. Pop that up. And maybe we'll just bring this in the center. Okay, now if you look at the axis section, notice it changes the actual physical uh, position. Okay, in which the uh, that round polygon is facing. Notice it makes a funny looking. Uh, sort of a more of an egg shape when we hit the X one because it's still basing it on the height parameters that have been uh, pushed in here or typed in here or stretched out you know dragging these dragging these things out so if I drag that out change it up see now it's changed again so so some different things you can fool around with um, so that you got the same functions as well again you got you know, you can work, you can add sides. Okay. Instead of having to try to model some of this stuff by hand, you can use some of these pre made uh, shapes to actually generate some stuff fairly quickly. Um, so you also have segments. Okay. And if you look right here, see how we're adding more segments to our our shape. Let's get this back into a cylinder again, just for fun. Okay, so if we want this rounder, obviously, the more segments we need. Okay, bring them back. It's kind of blocky. 
if you you're rendering this inside of a layout and you need it a per perfectly smooth and round you're going to have to bump this stuff up okay otherwise you're going to have these little funky edges here and you don't you don't want that okay um so we also have uh the same thing as before we can we can move this around using these little blue little crosshairs or once again you can use moving side to side using these cursors and dragging things um, you can physically move move it around either entering data in these fields or dragging these arrow buttons um, radius you can control the radius specifically on the uh, on the X and the Y and the Z planes okay and we also have our make UVs button again um, we go new let's write dog just for fun let's click cylinder because it's a cylinder click okay and so texture dog let's go to UV and there you see it unwrapped okay but if I click on that polygon notice there's something strange that goes on here is the fact that you don't actually see this uh, polygon facing in a circle it's 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 actually flat it's uh, it's all the points that are going around are actually been lined up in a straight line. That's why I don't like using the automated stuff. You can actually pull this apart and retry to round it out by hand inside the UV window. Um, that might be really really hard to do, um, but this might work perfectly in say a situation where. Um, you don't you're not actually planning on um, necessarily UVing the top here or say you want to UV it separately um, you can just select this okay but get rid of uh, get rid of the UVs in this this window okay and uh, just by going up to the map tab so you select the polygons that you don't want as part of the UV map and you just go clear map okay so that also works okay so I think what we're gonna do from here is move on to our next tool